Thank you for listening and watching today's show. We aren't here to tell you what to think, but to inspire and empower you to do your own thinking for better life results. We are being shadow banned, censored, canceled, and deleted simply for sharing our message. Go to contacttammy.com and always stay connected with us. At contacttammy.com, sign up for our latest report on health, freedom, and organic lifestyle. Text the word HEALTH to 833-838-1020 and get free access to our community and a chance to win free merchandise and products. Send me a quick message and become a supporter. There are many options available and you will have a direct impact on keeping independent media healthy and growing. Go to contacttammy.com and let's stay connected. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Naturally Inspired Daily. If you have not yet become a member over on livenaturallyinspired.com, come and join us there. Right now, you can sign up for your first month free by using promotion code TAMMY. That's T-A-M-M-Y at livenaturallyinspired.com. We are here to help people feel good so they can do what they love for longer. So let's get going with today's Health Watch. Today, we're talking about tinctures. Let's take a look at this article from healthline.com. What you need to know about herbal tinctures. So tinctures are concentrated herbal extracts made by soaking the bark berries, leaves, dried or fresh of roots from one or more plants in alcohol or vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is actually the recommended vinegar to use. The alcohol or vinegar pulls out the active ingredients in the plant parts, concentrating them as liquids. Um, Healthline goes on to explain that there are many benefits of taking tinctures. Health boosting chemicals found in some plants are made a little stronger with tinctures. I like to think of tinctures as like teas. So if you're using teas um, and you, you, you get benefit from them, you'll probably get a great benefit it from tinctures because it's just like a tea, but it's more potent. Some good examples of tinctures to use. Uh, chamomile is a great one for helping with anxiety, also with healing wounds and reducing inflammation. Fever few. This one is a great one for migraines. Now, if you're dealing with migraines, I always say the first place I would start if I had a migraine issue would be my diet. I would start with an elimination diet. I would keep a very strict um, diet journal and try to pinpoint if there may be a food trigger to your migraines. Feverfew is great for pain, um, also helps with anxiety and depression. Garlic is another great tincture. Um, there is some evidence that that can lower, help lower cholesterol. So if you're dealing with that, that's a great thing to try. Ginger helps reduce nausea in pregnant women, um, nausea all around actually, and also helps for motion sickness as well as inflammation. Ginkgo. This one is actually really helpful with asthma and tinnitus. Um, some people may be dealing with tinnitus, um, given that that seems to be a reported side effect with these uh, COVID shots. It also has um, proved to be uh, helpful in memory, um, dementia, in, and improving brain function overall. Ginseng um, has beneficial psychological and immune effects. Milk thistle, of course, this one's pretty widely known that it helps um, heal liver issues and detox liver. St. John's wort also for depression, saw palmetto um, is a great one for prostate. Valerian, if you're having trouble sleeping, uh, I would try valerian root tea first because it can be quite powerful. But if you're not having any, any success with that, I would move on and try a tincture. A raspberry leaf is one of my favorites and it can be very potent um, in helping with mental menstrual cramps and things, um, all things woman. Um, definitely, uh, having an army or an arsenal rather of, uh, tinctures in your medicine cabinet is a great idea. You have to plan ahead because many of these tinctures could take up to eight to 10 weeks to be ready for use, but grab yourself an herbal handbook and start looking into tinctures because they're highly beneficial. Unfortunately, some platforms censor the information in this show. Watch the rest of this episode by going to naturallyinspireddaily.com. 
Find amazing interviews with people like David Icke, Max Egan, Frontline Doctors, and more at naturallyinspiredpodcast.com. Connect with me directly at TammyCuthbertGarcia.com. Support our amazing team, help us defeat censorship, and become a subscriber for only $5 a month at LiveNaturallyInspired.com. Find me on all social media platforms at ConnectWithTammy.com.